In his testimony before the House Judiciary Committee today, Attorney General William Barr continued the Trump administration's talking points, demonizing people protesting around the country, portraying the largest street protest movement possibly in history as a dangerous threat to law enforcement. He and the Republicans on the committee echoed the president, who yesterday basically likened the protesters to domestic terrorists and threatened them with a decade in prison for vandalism. Democratic Congresswoman Pramila Jayapal made a point to emphasize the Trump administration's different reactions to armed white protesters protesting coronavirus safety measures and people protesting for equal treatment under the law. There is a real discrepancy in how you react as the attorney general, the top cop in this country, when white men with swastikas storm a government building with guns, there is no need for the president to, quote, activate you because they're getting the president's personal agenda done. But when black people and people of color protest police brutality, systemic racism, and the president's very own lack of response to those critical issues, then you forcibly remove them with armed federal officers, pepper bombs, because they are considered terrorists by the president. The truth here uh, over the last several months remains that the most actual document and the worst actual documented instances of violence over the last two months have been perpetrated by right wing white nationalists. From the guy who killed two officers in California who proved to be a right wing nationalist to the right-wing anti-feminist lawyer who tried to assassinate a judge and murdered her son, to the Richmond mayor blaming violent protests over the weekend on, quote, white supremacists marching under the banner of Black Lives Matter, attempting to undermine an otherwise overwhelmingly peaceful movement towards social justice. You might remember this video of this Minneapolis protester breaking windows during the protest following the killing of George Floyd. He had spray-painted free stuff for everyone, on the front doors, onlookers were stunned to see what he was doing and confronted him. This is what Minnesota Attorney General Keith Ellison said a few days later. Just a few days ago, on like the second day of protests, there was a man who was uh, dressed in all black. He was a Caucasian person. He had a gas mask, black gloves, an umbrella. It was not raining. That led me to believe that there is real legitimate evidence that this is a very serious uh, operation being done to tarnish the legitimate protest that is going on. Well, the Minneapolis Star Tribune reports that, according to police, that man is suspected of ties of the white supremacist group and sought to incite racial tension, police said. Joining me now is Minnesota Attorney General Keith Ellison. Um, it's good to have you on, Attorney General, and I know obviously you can't get in specifics criminal cases, um, but but there was a sense of a, a, amidst all this, right, about that that there might have been some forces acting in this in intentionally sort of uh, s- sabotaging way. I, I'm curious your reaction uh, to the latest news from the Star Tribune. Well, I'm not surprised that this individual was. Uh, or allegedly connected to white supremacist groups. Uh, there are people who know that the movement for justice, the movement for uh, police accountability is powerful, and they want to delegitimize that movement. And so what some of them have done is infiltrated that movement and created damage and destruction and arson, and then run away and hope that the general public believes that that is the movement. It's not the movement. I mean, it never was the movement. In fact, it's antithetical to the movement. As you can see, the little fellow in the pink shirt, he's the movement. He's the one saying, hey, what are you doing? We're trying to peacefully protest. We're trying to raise critical issues. And you're trying to undermine the legitimacy of our movement and make people think that our movement is unruly and unrighteous, when really it is quite righteous.